Dude, it's because at that point, there was like a lot of people who would try to get on the mic that didn't know. Yeah. And they were bad. Yeah. They'd be like, yeah, dude. And they'd just like say stupid shit or say things that I don't know, like, I'm not cool with. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, fuck that. So I no, took no I gambles. Feel. It's, yeah, it's always a little bit dicey when you toss Nofi on the mic. And it's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who anyway. knows? Who knows what could happen? So, do you guys commentate or do you guys do a. Uh, what do you do? What do you mean? You I don't know. I hear about? stories about how Ludwig doesn't commentate. The he match? just like keep memes and blah blah blah. No, I only commentate the match. I, I love the game and I talk about the game. What do you? I what do you expect, story? Mike? <laughs> I, uh, I was checking out a subreddit for Smash Brothers called a. Uh, well, anyway, I was checking out a subreddit and they were saying how you don't commentate. What is this uh, subreddit? Awesome. And Slime don't come and commentate at all. They just do memes and they talk about random stuff and blah 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 blah. Look, it depends on the matchup, but on context. I, this is a hype match. The, yeah, exactly. All right, that's why you're here. So, what did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's why you're here. You're here to explain us the matchup, talk oh, to us about I? it. I was going to ask you about, what was the, I didn't read his tweet longer. Okay, what was, so. What was the TLDR on we that? We just talked about it. The TLDR, though, is uh -huh. basically he hasn't been happy with being stagnant in the game. Fair. And he's been playing for a while. Fair. And so he wants to set a timeline, a deadline, to see improvement in the game. Basically, he said May 2020, if I don't see improvement, he put top 10 in the post, but he's, he expanded saying just general improvement. Right, right, right. Top, okay, top 50, whatever it is, he he won't be playing the game anymore. Dude, and these both of these players have been playing for a long time, right? Like, that's yeah. pretty crazy. Like, yeah. I, I understand that sentiment. You've um, been there, right? Dude, as somebody, oh, hold on, hold on. That's okay. No, that was almost sick. Yeah, as someone who's been there, like, I get it. I think it's reasonable. I think we're all getting older, and, like, it's okay to find other interests and hobbies and other stuff you want yeah. to do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think he's sick, though. I don't think, like, I don't like the objectivity result thing. I've never been a fan of that. Yeah. I like more, I can play Melee for self-improvement. I like that. I like that a lot better. It feels a lot better overall. But I don't know. I mean, to each their own, dude. I think there's after, uh, like, after a point, though, you know, if you play for nah. eight years, eh. that you want to see something so. to... Uh, I mean, it depends what your goal is. If your goal is to be the best, then yeah, okay, you're not the best. Move on, I guess, if that's your goal. Yeah. That's not my goal. Okay. My goal is to consistently improve and like push myself to get better and be the best me possible. How do you measure you? Improving? How I feel. Okay. I don't care about like results. Like don't. I used to care a lot about results though, but I, I just I don't know. That's interesting. They're That's so like, fickle, dude. Have you ever have you seen this the Sleepy K video? No, you but I've heard a lot about, about it. It's like an yeah. hour and a half. That's like the exact opposite of the approach that he takes. He's, really? He's like of the mindset that if your goal isn't to be the best player in the world, yeah, you you're don't not actually want to be good. Dude, yeah. I've been at that point too. I mean, I've had that mentality, but it's just like it's toxic, dude. It sucks. Like let's say you're competing in bracket, right? Like let's say people have bad days. Yeah. Right. You're competing and your goal is to get top eight at this tournament. You miss, I don't know, you miss a couple ledge dashes and you lose. Yeah. Right? Oh, dude, like, you, now you're in a bad mindset, you're in loser's bracket, you're thinking about how much you suck, you're thinking about how, like, all your training was for nothing. Like, I've felt that before, but it's yeah. just like, that's just, it's so bad to measure so yourself close, off of boys. Well, that's why, that's why, that's why he This is crazy, it's sorry. so close. Damn, didn't I just say I didn't want to talk about random stuff? God <laughs> damn it. Blood sucked you into it, dude. No, you do? I was trying to talk about the man. <laughs> oh. oh, that was so close. Brandon is sick, though. All right, he can do this. He's in the lead for a little bit. Oh, misses his tag, and Lucky scoops that him. That slide off was nice. Ooh, oh, that wow. back air was actually clean. Good. I expected a roll. That was such a tight situation, and he escaped. Okay. Oh, oh, my God. Just tried to go for it. It's going to be it right here. Oh, oh what? God, Look at that spacing, though. That it. was crazy. Oh. Uh, slide off. Meant to land on that platform there. But this should be it. got him off stage. You got to end him. Oh, come angle. on, son. Come on. Oh, oh my goodness, he ran right into it. Nobody Lucky. can cover get up attack on a platform. It's impossible. Oh, he did it. He called Stank, it out. Stank, dude. Little toesies. How do you do that? Stank. Little toesies. I really like how Homemade Waffles, that whole entire last stock, Jeez. just kept back airing through the center in a super safe way. Do you think it's a lot funnier if Brandon wins because of his twit longer? I was just going to say, everybody's <laughs> so bonkers if he's just like, It'd be hype. just like, man, I'm not feeling it. It's that storyline, bro. He just pops off here. I like that. Well, the thing is, too, but it's it's not any single tournament. That was part of the Twit Longer, too, right? It's not like any one Fair. tournament. It's it's. I have to get top eight here because obviously you have bad days, like you said. Right. It's over the course of a, a year and, and, and change, you know? So, what, I mean, what's your goal? Like, what was your goal with Melee when you started? Because I haven't felt that. I started a long time ago. So, like, yeah. I don't necessarily remember my goal. My goal was to have fun. But, like, was that your goal to be the best? Uh, my original goal was to be better than my friends. That was my original okay. goal. Okay. And then it just expanded to like, you know, I had new friends who were better at the game. It's like, all right, let me try to be better than them. So you never got better, you just got new friends. 
<laughs> One way to put have it, Mike. That, <laughs> have you seen that uh, video where Riff Raff is in the car and he's like, my main goal is to blow up and then, then act, act like, like I, I don't, don't know nobody. nobody. <laughs> That's you. And then he makes a weird... <laughs> 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 That's the melee dream, You don't know about right? the neon icon? I don't know Jody who Riff Raff is. Who is Riff Raff? You're kidding. No. You're in the rap scene. You're, you're a rapper. Dude, Mike. but I like, I'm very, I keep them, like, I, I, I'm very niche. What you I just like stay in my zone. I only listen I do, right. I am, I know, I hate that word too. I hate that so much, but yes, yes. I only listen to Joji. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Joji. <laughs> do you listen to Joji? Ooh, I don't know who that is. Sorry, wow. Len, I don't listen to Incel Core. <laughs> is that what he is? <laughs> no, is. No, he's, he's just kind of sad. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> We're on stadium. Oh. In the pit, no less. I feel like uh, Brandon starts some juicy combos and then doesn't want to overextend and cuts him off early. So I played him at Genesis. Yeah. And uh, this has nothing to do with what you said at all. Sure. I just want to say that. But uh, I played him at Genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was really good. I think uh, once he gets an opening, he capitalizes hard. And I think that's just the... I've been playing for 10 years. Type so of thing. not only is it not what Ludwig said, yeah, it's, it's the, the opposite, opposite of what, what I said. said. Well, <laughs> no, it's not the opposite. I'm just saying sometimes he cuts the link early. You know what I mean? No. You know when you, you're... Like he just ends it earlier than he has to. Then he, yeah. Like okay. he could push it and maybe get like the full kill. The mango, <laughs> mango combo. Right, right, right. Okay, I get that. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that like I think his... Oh, hold on. Ooh, very nice, okay. but... Nice. How does it? I, I mean, I have so many questions. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think when he gets an opening, like he's like right now, he's about to get a, a pretty fat one. Actually, kind of overextended. <laughs> that looked really fun. Well, you messed up the lasers, probably yeah, shining, right? Yeah, it looks silly. But it just looked funny. Um, anyway, I, I don't know. I think he's good at that. And like, I think uh, he also excels when a fox is more aggressive too. Yeah. Um, so I think this game, Lucky definitely slowed it down from the last one a bit. Like, Lucky had some tight scenarios in the last game. Like he was right out of his spacing, um, and he was getting punished for that at times. Uh, but Brandon really accelerates when there's like. <sighs> I can't explain my thought. You're right. You're doing I'm great. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, he really accelerates when he's like just gets an opening. Sorry, I'm just watching. Okay, sorry. He really accelerates when somebody is playing aggressive. Isn't that um, normal for all right. of melee though? Sorry, I, I don't know. No, that's not necessarily true. Like, people can't handle aggression. Yeah, people, yeah like, I mean, like you like, can respond to aggression by like backing off. Right. 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 Sorry, uh, my thoughts got completely jumbled. Yeah, if you're like playing fast, he does really well against that. Like he knows how to play the micro game very well. Yeah. So when we ended up playing on Genesis, like I just camped the shit out of him. Like that was just my <laughs> like, to, like to put it bluntly, like I just camped, right? Because I know that like he gets frustrated when you camp him. Right. Um, I, uh, that plays feel... in, so that plays into it for you. Like, yeah. You oh, know for specifically sure. for him that would frustrate him. For sure, for sure. You want to know something toxic actually? So when we played, <laughs> oh my god, he told me terrible. when we okay we're gonna play and he's like pumped up and he's like jumping up and down. Yeah. And he's like yeah I gotta go commentate soon like I gotta go do this and I'm like okay I'm gonna and in my head I'm like I'm gonna camp the top fucking platform Goodness so me. hard because he's pumped up he wants to go fast. Yeah. And I just did that and he thought I grimed him. He th and then like there was some <laughs> other shit like we're he's, playing he's, and it's like game two and he's like yo I'm gonna pick stadium and I'm like I banned stadium. I, I was gonna ban it anyway, but like wow. he, there was some like drama there. It felt bad, but damn, uh, I you did spent, it to Brandon, dude. I spent some time with NMW I was gonna this ban weekend, it. and we were talking about homemade waffles and how he plays. And he says, I'm not sure if he still does this, but he says homemade waffles follows a pattern where he'll start off on one side platform, and then he will uh, go to the other one, like across the stage, and do a mix up where he like either Ends like doesn't aerial from the platform or just like fakes that he's going to go to the ground and then jumps back to the platform, oh, and dude. then he goes to the other platform and does the same thing. I see, I see. <laughs> I, mean, I think, anyway, whatever. I think he's good. How uh, and obviously, it's game three. He's good. How important is uh, Shine Out of Shielding? Because I don't see him doing it. Ridiculously important. As Falco. Ridiculously important. If you want, I can like pay attention to that closer. Um, damn, the downer was fast. It's just so important. It's such a combo starter, especially since a lot of foxes like play mix-up games or cross-up games on shield. Yeah. Nice. Um, it's going to play a big effect You, on like, that. really need it. Like, when you play West, I can't touch West's shield. Like, I don't even mess with that. I just, like, space around it, and I won't even do anything. I'll just let him shield sometimes. Because his punish game is so hard. Damn. Damn. It's, like, close. This is so close, but it's, like, yeah. he's just falling apart early. Like, think about it. If he didn't air dodge right off the bat, he'd be in the lead. If he didn't just SD oh, fast, oh, he'd be in the lead. Oh, from Lucky. Damn, Not quite you gotta it. know. You gotta know that. Yeah, you're getting. Oh, wow. He got that up here, too. Dude. <laughs> that was actually crazy. He picked that up. Oh, it just Damn. calls out the whole shield. 
Yeah, like I think that. you just cling on to your life a little more. On Lucky Zangos are very tricky. Uh, he gets back a lot, and it's not just a, a matter of like bad, you know, Falcon's bad at edge guarding or something. Yeah, it's that uh, he mixes up his like low angles and high angles just so well. Like he does a lot of like what I call stupid angles. Yeah. Where like I can't believe he actually went for that angle again. Seems like a Norwalk <laughs> thing. Dude, I hate it. I hate playing Joe's. Because <laughs> it makes no sense. It's like, dude, why would you do that? And that angle, like he did it twice, and it's just like. I think it's because I, I think it's because normal players are of the mindset of like, okay, oh, I did oh. this. It's time to do something different. Now. Right, right. So right, right there, couldn't you have gone it there? Couldn't you? Uh, I mean, he could have. It was. I, I get why he was scared, right? That's yeah. That's what I mean. When cut the link early. Okay, that's fair. I think it's just scared of like missing the execution because he messed I that see, up. Yeah, dead. Yeah. It's game over. But I mean, you have to go for those, you know. Oh, let's see if oh. I can do something here. Is that combo? All right, angle. Honestly, bring it, Brandon, bring it back up. This is really interesting. Lucky doing the up throw down air on the top platform. Yeah, just going for damage. Down air will convert if you get the right hits. Like, you can get a grab or a Or, like, smash. Drill, drill reset if they miss the tag, right, right? Right, I think this whole third game, though, Brandon's just been shielding a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lucky's capitalized super hard on that. I'd like to analyze this set sometime. Down throw? Let's see it. Oh, he gets it. OK. Return of the mic stream, <laughs> 2K19. I'm down, dude. Let's do it. Collab. You'd love to see That's it. That's it. Yeah, I mean, that was, you know, that was a good fight for Brandon. For it was sure. respectable. Uh, I wonder if Yoshi's was the right call. Like, I, like it's like I was saying earlier. Like, I think his he excels when there's a lot of fast combat. Yeah. Um, Lucky was playing really tight around it, and that time he was able to smother him. Uh, but it can be hard to do that against Falco, like yeah, as Fox. Like, right. it's super annoying because sometimes if you misspace something or like you do an early in air, you're just gonna get crouch cancel to eighty percent, and it's just it's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, he played really well. I think shining out a shield would have been hype. <laughs> Just once. It's hard. Maybe. It is hard. <laughs> it's hard. How important it also is. Is, is dash shining for Fox? Is that the future? Oh, like JC shine? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it is. I've been doing it a lot more. I was playing with hacks a lot at Genesis. Uh, I took like a little hiatus and I came back at Genesis. It was my first like tournament back. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, Hugs next? Ooh. Hugs, ooh. Hugs playing them all. He doesn't even play at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was playing against Hacks I think JC shine's like really underrated. It's what the Aussies do a lot. Do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really. Yeah. And you can see how well they perform. So yeah. I mean. Yeah, look at that. It's a future. Uh, it's really good because when okay, so what happens when you're JC shining is you're in a weird situation where like you could get hit. Like let's say you're Marth, or you're playing against Marth, and you want to JC shine them, right? Mm -hmm. They could be doing forward air or down tilt, and you're trying to like hit them in between that, like right before. Yeah. So if they do one of those, what ends up happening if you're the right percents is that you'll get a crouch cancel basically because you're holding down from the JC shine instead of forward. So if you hold forward, you're gonna get juggled. Okay. If you're holding down from the JC shine. That either the JC shine will hit, or you're getting the crouch cancel. Yeah. So you end up in a positive scenario. Like it's basically like taking the hit with a potential trade. That's insane. Interesting.